Hi, my name is Kimberly Payne. I'm a physical therapist practicing in geriatrics for 17 years. I'm going to just give you some uh, hints and some tools to use with different disease processes with Recovo, which is an incredible tool to help you with patients. One of the biggest things that I've seen for benefits is the compliance. Folks are excited to do therapy and in the end we actually have better outcomes. We'll talk about some of the evidence-based tools you can use, but the reality is if we have a client that actually participates, we're going to have better outcomes. So one of the first disease processes we're going to talk about is Parkinson's. Uh, as we know from the research, Parkinson's patients really struggle with movement. So the more we can get them to move in large patterns really makes a difference. Reality is research recently said whatever that they're going to do that they are going to be compliant on makes all the difference. So Recovo is going to allow us to have them be compliant with our exercise, do it for a longer period of time, and because they're engaged, the research says we'll have better outcomes. So our Parkinson's patients, what are the goals that we want to work on with them? Obviously one of the biggest challenges for them is they become a, a large fall risk, so we need to work on balance. So we're going to show how Recovo actually helps with that balance. You know, if you think about Recovo and having them move in different planes, the fact that they're changing directions, that they're changing height, being engaged with it actually helps with their balance because, as we know, life doesn't go in a straight line, right? It goes in a lot of different directions. So using that tool with Recovo, it allows them to move in multiple planes, challenging their balances and having better outcomes. One of the other things, if you notice with the Parkinson's patient, because of just endurance in the disease process, you find them, same with the aging process, is they're bent over a lot and they're flexed and they have that shuffling gait. So a lot of the just moving them with Recovo and, and to the point of having flexibility and opening up, whether it's the big arm movements that you're going to have them performing, you know, that's opening them up and actually allowing more flexibility so that they can create functional tasks safer, especially when we're addressing balance at the same time. So with the Parkinson's patients, you know, one of the things we have to deal with as well is endurance, you know, for older patients as well. You know, loss of muscle strength, all those things have to be addressed. With Parkinson's patients, using Recovo, with those large motions, as we remember from school, using your upper extremities for periods of time actually uses more um, calories, more energy. So if we have a client using their arms to do the Recovo across midline so that the, both sides of the brain is engaged, it actually helps with that endurance and that debility and muscle weakness because they're doing something they actually enjoy doing for a long period of time. So if they're going across the line, they're doing things and it's showing up in artwork that they've actually have a set, sense of satisfaction afterwards. We're actually addressing those issues with both Parkinson's as well as muscle atrophy and endurance. And those are functional things in, in ADLs that we all need to address on a day-to-day -day for our goals. Um, 